Hello everyone! Good afternoon! Welcome to Tina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make Vietnamese spring roll. It's going to be pretty. You can be adventurous in your Vietnamese spring roll. Here we go! Sunflower for my spring roll later. Also this mint, delicious mint. They're all coming out now. This young dill leaves and also dandelion is edible. Also my strawberry, strawberry flower. These are, these are all my ingredients, chicken, prawn, king prawn, I'm going to cook and season this, and that is my dipping sauce later. Teaspoon of peanut butter, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, and sweet chili and a lime. These are my ingredients for my Vietnamese spring roll, and they are beautiful from my garden and this is my Vietnamese rice paper I'm going to soak that as well or dip into water and it's going to be ready to use for the seasoning for my prawn just a couple of chili it. just a little bit <laughs> Now, two tablespoons of soy sauce. <laughs> oh, I love paprika. And then mix it. Put an oil. Now the oil is ready. And keep on stirring until it's blush pink. Then ready to roll later. Now we're gonna pour hot water. Bermersily noodle. This is how I do my noodles so it doesn't cook. Then I'm going to slice it into a nice square. We just need two. We can use them for decoration later. That trimming is not going to be waste. Nothing to be waste in Tina's kitchen. Look at that. It's beautiful. Would you agree? Now I'm going to dip this into a water. I'm going to put it here. Just wipe it. This is the flower that I gathered from my garden. They're edible flowers. A little bit in there. Or in the middle. And now cutting my salad and my noodles. And the chicken, perhaps I put the dill, kind of get messy, but don't worry, you can tighten it as you go along. You see what I mean? They're a bit sticky. And you can tighten it as you go along, as I said. Look at that. How beautiful! And the flower. I put and arrange our egg, greens, bell pepper, carrots, and the noodles. And I'm going to arrange the flower. Sometimes the dandelions, I collect them in my garden and put them into a butter and fry them. 
Look at that. How gorgeous at the eggs. Delicious, gorgeous, mm, yummy. Now, also, if you're a vegan, you don't need to put any prawns, any meat, but purely vegetable. Now, you can arrange it like this and put your chili in there if you like spicy. Arrange it. that and all the vegetable that you prefer it's too far of my my uh, ingredients that. different sorts of greens it's really really good for us I put a little mint here If you are not allergic with nuts, you can put a peanuts again for protein. Oh, how wonderful that is. Looks so delicious. There's a story there. I think something to do with the spring roll got um, already marked in there. Look at that. So wonderful. So Japanese or Vietnamese spring roll, you can do many things. With meat, with seafoods, with um, just a vegetable for a vegan and nuts. It's delicious. I'm so happy with this to share with you. Now I'm going to make our sauce for dipping sauce. Now I'm going to mix all up our sauce. This is two tablespoons of peanuts, smooth peanut butter, and two tablespoons of sweet chili, and two tablespoons of hoisin sauce and mix all together. That was boiling water, but now it's cooled down. Two tablespoons of lime. Delicious, everyone. This cold spring roll is lovely during summertime. It's any time in my kitchen, actually. But some people, they prefer cold salad during summertime and this is the one of the kind to eat it's yummy very yummy but you can always use more chili powder in the sauce if you are a spicy person if you like more chili in it and a big kick on your food hmm. I'm so happy this is all Thank you for watching in Tina's Kitchen. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Thank you. Bye.